Hi there, sign of Taurus. This is Kim here with your reading. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing great. As good as good can be. Let's get into this. Buck lights. Copper. Okay, opening up to your spirit team, your spirit guides. <laughs> and when we opened up, we got the spirit guide card. That's interesting. To your, to our angels, our angels, and your spirit team. I offer private readings. Those are $24 in the description box. It's how you can find information. And I send you a recorded reading based on the questions you ask me. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing because it helps the channel and I appreciate it if you do that. If you like it, Taurus. All the decks are updated, by the way, in the description box. Ten. Ten. Oh, I saw. Oh, wow. So you're using your wisdom to adapt to something here in life. Meaning there's going to be a change, but you're making it. You're the one making it. You're the one deciding, no, okay, this has got to bend in a different way, and this is how I'm doing it. <clears throat> Based on the magic now that is from your experience, the wise salt. Some of you all could use salt for healing, but I definitely see the rainbow, the spectrum here. Wow, and the mystical sister, you're attracting people to you or energies to you, moth to a flame. Maybe for your wisdom, for your teaching, for your guidance. Luxury, pleasure, mystery, silver that needs to be polished, perhaps, something that you do that might need to be polished because you're, uh, wow, the raven's head is approaching your great purpose. Like the uh, this card means you hold the wisdom and now the work begins. Hmm. Can we sum up all these energies? Perfect rotation. You, th there's something that you have done over and over to perfection, and so you're wrapping up the cycle, and now it's going towards, or it will go towards something different, something new with the Virgin's Milk, a new experience for you, something that's aligned with your purpose. You could be talking about many lifetimes of doing something. Rotation. Like the like a dream weaver. Something might be uncertain at this time or undetermined for you, or that's might that might be the state that you feel like you're in right now. So maybe we can get some answers as to maybe that things are in a state of change, a flux. Not sure exactly what the outcome's gonna be, but know that you're moving on from something, especially with this rotation, the way that this came. Uh, for some of you, it's the end of karmic cycles, right? For some of you, it's the end of some baggage that you've been holding on to. Excess, unresolved issues, held together, pack rat, fearing separ separation, heavy burdens, responsibilities, necessities, prepared to go, the next phase in the long journey. And there's something that feels like it's going to be a, a risk or like you would be taking a risk <clears throat> or a gamble with this choice. Dice, gamble, taking a risk, luck, playing games. Chances are, roll with it. Random results, win or lose. Uncertain outcome, playing the game, potential, fate, and what happens next. Okay, what else for Taurus? <laughs> There's definitely a cycle that's ending, guys. Definitely. 
putting kerosene on it and burning it. This past chapter of your life with the book being in flames, book burning. I'll read it all, but when I see this card, especially on the rotation, um, I think of um, a complete chapter to something, a complete ending, something that you're rising from. Um, so it's the end of like censorship, silencing, control, discord, persecuting, limiting freedom, mind games, changing the narrative have grapes and have person of earth so your energy showing up here in your reading grapes is abundance bearing fruit harvest overindulge tempting wealth and enjoying the fruits of your labor you have seven seven being bold and brave to give your baggage or your unresolved issues to spirit allow your light heart to guide you through the next steps the person of earth, the caretaker, the provider, grounded, secure, stubborn, nurturing, classy, stable, prosperous, materialistic, possessive, dependable. Okay, what about these cards up here at the top? Microphone. Okay, and it really is. They do want to point out this beak here with the raven's head. So this beak... To me, it represents that the, the pearl, the wisdom, or the knowledge, it's it's here. Throat chakra is ruled by a Taurus. And so there's something about what you're going to express through your speech, through your communication. Well, how we express through our throat chakra. Mm. Okay, let me just say it could be any, it doesn't have to actually be through speech or anything like or vocal it could be through how you communicate through music or art or what you can build or what you say of course microphone news trending broadcast expression strong opinion to make known current events public speaking speak truth communicate social media being heard and speaking up Seven seven eight eight and the rainbow. So whatever you have that is uncertain is surely like turning into this because you have these rainbows. You have three of them up here or spectrums of light. Um, rainbows, wish granted, serendipity, blessing, patience pays off, abundance, hope, good luck, manifesting wealth. Prosperity and perfect timing to apply your wisdom, to um, amass your prosperity how you wish to, the way that feels the most freeing to you. I have spring, the maiden, new moon, so you're starting to manifest something. I have within one to three months is the timing card on this, one to three months. Could be when this other energy that has something they feel like is in common with you, a mystical sister popping out. Could have to do something with that, this maiden card. Um, beautiful. Crystal ball, intuition, premonition, seeing clearly, discernment, perception, sixth sense, instinct, divination, future planning, ESP, past, present, future, gut reaction, and an inner knowing. And an inner knowing. Okay, so let's get something from the tarot, and then I'm going to pull one of these white light oracles for you. I might make this reading a little bit shorter. I do want to focus on some private readings. And to get the next group started here uh, after Virgo, Capricorn, so Leo, Aries, Sag should be completed today, too. Yeah, oh wow, the high priestess on top of the crystal ball. Intuition, premonition, and there's some spiritual gifts coming really on board, on board with you right now. High priestess, you just know. You just know. I heard, I'm feeling and I heard in my mind's eye, this way of speaking, um, 
like you you just know what has to go you just know what has to go you know what is out the door in and out with the old and with the new you just know this could have to do with a lot of different things could have to do with predictions with what's going on just in the world in general oh yes there's a strong yes on that maybe some kind of um big change uh shake up destructive energy but it pulls in new you could be having predictions about something like this i'm not even getting necessarily all for yourself i'm getting more so like be vocal about what you think's going on with the world you are very in touch you're taurus you're you're earth you're very in touch with the, the power and the energy of um terra matter or mother earth and uh therefore what we're made out of like you so you know when something's shaking up i like i'm because i'm picking this up as being very in tune with what mother earth is going through right now or is about to really go through or shake up and and you have the truth you have the clarity you you have something of, of similar clear cognizance or maybe a clairvoyance i mean your your earth you could have all, any any kind of clair too especially with this uh high priestess coming out so speaking your truth is really important or speaking what what truths you're getting what are what what's being pulled into your awareness at this time okay white light oracle for taurus let's pull something for you from this deck and we'll wrap it up with this and an angel number message for you Like I said, all these are listed in the description box below, but that is that. Oh, okay. At 34, Sacrament of Extreme Unction. Sacrament of Extreme Unction. Let's make sure you can see that card. It's so pretty. Love the artwork. Okay, number 34. <clears throat> Your heart knows how to let go so you can find peace. It is time for you to experience spiritual closure. A beautiful new reality is opening up to you. Entering it requires you release your attachment to the past. You have been inwardly preparing for this powerful rebirth. And now it is the time to trust what is meant for you. Move towards it with an open, trusting heart and a peaceful mind. Hmm. Extreme unction translate into the last anointing. So while spiritual grace is always with you and blessings are always able, uh, available to a receptive heart, this oracle wishes to bring your attention to the ending of a particularly stubborn pattern. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, you'll experience greater freedom, a new lease on life. It's as if you're going to be born again within this lifetime signifying significant and permanent healing release. Embrace your future, let go of emotional and psychological burdens or baggages. Yeah, okay. So sometimes we can martyr ourselves to the pain of the past or even attempt to carry the suffering of others, holding it within our hearts as if that can alleviate the burden of another or create healing says but all of that happens in such instances is suffering as suffering increases so let yourself off the hook guilt shame or blame give yourself permission to acknowledge that all people including you have done your best the universe is offering you a powerful spiritual gift your heart knows how to receive it so let go there's no turning back it's time to start anew it is your time to be happy and free what a beautiful message the white light oracle thank you for that message kind of confirming what we've already been exploring whoa that's interesting 33 on the bottom okay so master number 33 any positive 
uh, changes or projects you're considering right now will be well worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. I am expanding. And it seems we have two here. Wow. Okay, so I have zero, zero, and eight, eight. Okay, zero, zero is, um, I'll just read it, but angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes. Listen and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. I am observant. So the more you observe, the more you notice signs and synchronicities, the more you notice your alignment with the universe, with zero point creation where anything is really possible. That's when you kind of know, hey, I'm on track. A8, you're on the cusp of a prosperous, abundant spiritual life and you will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement all of which will bring financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy, 8-8. Eight, eight. And that is what, oh goodness, that is, that is what I've got for you, Taurus. I'm sending you love, bye.